In from London. In from London. A new hairdo. New hairdo. Snow White hairdo. We cut it all off. Conflicts and scandals have long been common in the entertainment industry, and a new rivalry has just gained prominence. The planned film adaptation of Snow White, the well-known fairy tale we all grew up with, is at the center of this controversy. But this isn't the traditional tale of a damsel in distress waiting for her prince, poisoned apples, and wicked queens. Something fresh is promised by this contemporary Snow White. It is planned to disrupt conventional gender norms and give a more empowered story, one that accords with current principles of leadership and self-reliance. Rising talent Rachel Zegler, renowned for her strong performances, is playing Snow White in this new version. Snow White, as portrayed by Ziegler, is not at all like the submissive princess we are used to seeing. The emphasis on holding out for true love's kiss has vanished. Rather, Snow White in this movie is a leader, a figure motivated by strength and ambition qualities that appeal to viewers of today. It is obvious that the goal of this modernized interpretation of the character is to uplift and connect with a generation that loves equality and freedom. Ziegler's interpretation of Snow White has elicited mixed reviews. Some have expressed worries that this updated version may deviate too far from the fairy tale's original meaning, despite the fact that many are cheering this departure from the conventional story. Ziegler, however, has not wavered in her support of this revised narrative, stressing that Snow White in 2024 is about paving her own way rather than waiting to be rescued by a man. Amidst all of this, Gal Gadot, another well known Hollywood actress who plays the evil queen in the same movie, has also been embroiled in a developing controversy. Gadot, well recognized for her legendary portrayal of Wonder Woman, has always shown fortitude and tenacity on screen. She has, in contrast to Ziegler, opted to say nothing about the current discussion over the movie's new erection. Ziegler is outspoken about the feminist overtones of Snow White. While Gadot appears only interested in her villainous character, but when Gadot gave an interview that seemed to fan the flames, the conflict took an unexpected turn. Rather than complimenting Ziegler's innovative interpretation of Snow White, her remarks were more circumspect, concentrating on the movie's technical aspects and Ziegler's depiction of the evil queen. Public criticism followed, with some fans believing that Gadot was purposefully separating herself from Ziegler's depiction. The media seized onto this fast, presenting an image of the two actresses increasing estrangement from one another, and is oblivious to the wider discussion about the political and cultural ramifications of the movie. This has given rise to considerable conjecture about possible conflicts between the two stars. There have been questions raised by Gadot's decision to abstain from participating in the public conversation around the film's message, particularly in light of her track record of strongly feminine roles. Her silence has been perceived by some as a subdued disapproval of the film's new direction, while others think it's just her preference to let her performance do the talking. It's crucial to recognize the varied stances that these celebrities have adopted toward the current discussions. Ziegler has enthusiastically seized the chance to dispel long-held myths and present Snow White from a novel angle, portraying the narrative as one of empowerment and leadership. Seriously, I do not know her strategy has I made her popular, so we especially with younger viewers who want to see more strong, so independent really women in leading roles. Really, really However, Gadot card. seems to be sticking in her own space, concentrating on her performance rather than engaging in any political conversation. Whether deliberate or not, Gadot's approach could possibly be motivated by her want to stay out of the contentious discussions that often surround such contemporary reimaginings. She probably understands how divisive these debates can become and would just like to concentrate on what she does best, which is compellingly bring her character to life. Seeing how this conflict plays out in the public eye will be fascinating to watch as Snow White gets closer to release. Will the alleged dispute between the movie's primary performers dominate? The story, or will the film's empowerment and self-determination theme take center stage? As the film's debut approaches, viewers are forced to wonder for the time being dot behind dash the dash scenes conflicts often leak into the public sphere in the entertainment industry, particularly when the stakes are as high as they are with this significant Disney remake. But Snow White is still, at its core, a story about change, both for the title character and for the narrative as a whole. Whether playing the contemporary Snow White played by Rachel Zegler or the evil Evil Queen played by Gal Gadot, 
both actors will undoubtedly make an impression on this timeless story in one way or another. In addition to generating excitement among fans, the much-awaited Snow White remake has also fueled a developing dispute between Rachel Zegler and Gal Gadot, the film's two principal actresses. The fundamentally divergent stances that each actress has taken on the film's contemporary, politically charged direction are at the center of. We're presenting Gal Gadot, who in the reboot portrays the evil queen. Gadot lends an additional degree of star power to the movie since she is well known for her representation of strong female characters, especially in her capacity as Wonder Woman. She has, however, responded to the raging debate quite differently than Ziegler has. Ziegler has spoken up about the matter. While Gad that being said, there have been others who disagree with this audacious reworking. The new strategy is criticized for deviating too far from the core of the original tale, and several admirers of the beloved Snow White have voiced their worries as well. Ziegler has not wavered in the face of criticism, responding to it directly in interviews and on social media, most notably Twitter. She has said categorically that she supports the movie's contemporary twist, seeing it as an essential development for the adored character. Dot has said very little. Rather than delving into the political overtones of the movie, her interviews have centered more on the technical elements of her performance and her pleasure about portraying the legendary villain. However, the story took a little change after Gadot's most recent interviews. Rather than applauding Ziegler's progressive interpretation of Snow White, Gadot used the opportunity to criticize Ziegler's emphasis on the political message of the movie. By doing this, she diverted attention from the inventive direction of the film and brought attention to the disparities in how she and Ziegler approached their respective parts. Gadot's words, although not openly confrontational, have been viewed as undercutting Ziegler's vigorous advocacy of the film's feminist themes. The adage the pen is mightier than the sword appears appropriate in this situation, since Gadot's well-chosen words have greatly influenced public opinion. Gadot's remarks have come off as more cutting than anybody could have predicted since she declined to participate in the larger discussion in favor of concentrating on the film's artistic merits. Her frank comments have, in effect, undermined Ziegler's commitment to telling the Snow White tale in a fresh light. A consequence, the two actresses got into a passionate and very visible argument. What began as a movie with a progressive message about women's empowerment has evolved into a dialogue centered on the two actors' divergent viewpoints. Some have even gone so far as to speculate that Gadot may have taken offense at the younger actress's vocal attitude given her silence on the political parts of the movie and her criticism of Zegler's emphasis on them. What was once likely to stay hidden the difference between the two actresses has suddenly come to light. It's becoming obvious that this conflict is about more than simply Snow White's revised story, it's also about the opposing worldviews and professional approaches of its starring females. Ziegler, on the other hand, has adopted a much more combative posture, confronting the criticism head-on and standing by her version of Snow White at all costs. Her eagerness to discuss the subject stands in sharp contrast to Gadot's more subdued demeanor, which is probably due to the actress's different generations. While Gadot appears to want to keep the spotlight on the work itself, Ziegler symbolizes a younger, more vocal generation of performers who aren't hesitant to dive into political conversation, as more media sources pick up on the issue. Considering her track record of showcasing strong female characters, Gadot's response to the debate is especially interesting. Apart from her subtle criticisms of Ziegler's methodology, her choice to stay mostly mute appears almost deliberate, Rather than participating in the political frenzy around the movie, Gadot has allowed her performance to speak for itself and focused on marketing the picture instead of lending her voice to the controversy. All that has happened as a result of their public spat is further conjecture about their relationship off-screen. Even though they have been together in interviews and at promotional events, it is noteworthy that Gadot has stayed silent on the more complex questions surrounding the movie letting Ziegler manage the most of the public conversation on her own. I am the end. What matters most is whether or not this division will affect how the movie is received. It is unclear whether the film's feminist message or the apparent conflict between its two primary actors will be the main focus of attention as spectators eagerly await the premiere of Snow White. As they continue to negotiate the challenging seas of Hollywood stardom, each representing a unique perspective on performance, public discourse, 
and fame all eyes are on Ziegler and Gadot for the time being. One of Disney's most eagerly awaited remakes, Snow White, has not only generated excitement but also controversy, especially with regard to the title character's depiction, zoom agency over their own lives. Critics have criticized Ziegler a tremendous deal for this retelling, claiming that it deviates too much from the original fairy tale. She hasn't given up, however, addressing these concerns head-on and vehemently defending the movie's current course. Gal Gadot's strategy has been almost total quiet, in sharp contrast to Ziegler's vocal defense. Despite the growing backlash, Gadot has been silent on the political and cultural ramifications of the movie, given that almost everyone else associated with the movie, including Disney, has felt obliged to comment. I will take, I will take this time to say you should go and, and tell them I sent you because they know me there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What do you order though when you go to it? Because, okay, okay so, so what, do you normally live in LA? Gal Gadot, who plays the evil queen, and Rachel Ziegler, who plays Snow White, are in the center of this tempest. Ziegler has been outspoken in her support of the movie's contemporary female themes, while Gadot has taken a very different tack, remaining silent in a way that has further increased curiosity. Rachel Ziegler, the voice of a modern, strong Snow White, a princess, who is no longer a helpless virgin, waiting to be rescued by a prince, has embraced her position. Ziegler has steadfastly supported the revised storyline of the movie, which puts more emphasis on self-empowerment and leadership than on romantic redemption, both in interviews and on social media. The contemporary interpretation of the character One pivotal occasion occurred when the subject of the movie's political overtones was brought up in a joint interview. Given that the question was aimed at both actresses, Gadot made the decision to back off and let Ziegler speak first. Ziegler vehemently defended the film's content, while Gadot avoided eye contact and remained silent. This scene perfectly captures Gadot's whole handling of the controversy it's quiet, collected, and clearly apart from the uproar of views around the movie. While Ziegler has been in the spotlight, taking a stand and addressing critics head-on, Gadot remains an island of serenity, unaffected by the raging arguments, it seems as if Gadot has determined that letting her performance speak for itself is the best course of action. Even though it seems passive, this strategy is very effective. Gadot's choice to stay mute seems almost intentional, as if she is purposefully choosing not to get dragged into the frenzy. This is especially true in an era when actresses are often expected to express their ideas on the cultural and political relevance of their work. This method, however innovative, is not without precedent. Gadot has a history of being careful about when and how she reveals her opinions about female portrayal in the media. In fact, she voiced her misgivings about the way women are depicted in movies and television shows during an interview she did about a month ago. Despite advancements, Gadot claims that the way women are portrayed and written in contemporary movies often falls short of fully appreciating their variety. She bemoaned the fact that female characters are often constrained by limited tropes, which lessens their nuance and richness. One may interpret Gadot's reticence over the Snow White debate as a continuation of this viewpoint. She could be preferring to concentrate on her own position as the evil queen of villain who, in this version of the narrative, may provide her own complicated perspective on female power, rather than getting into the argument about how Snow White has been remade. Gadot may be indicating that she doesn't think Snow White is empowered enough by avoiding the larger political debates, but rather that how all women heroes and with Snow White as release date getting closer, people will probably continue to notice how differently Ziegler and Gadot approach their roles. Ziegler has established herself as a leader of a new breed of actors who aren't hesitant to participate in heated discussions about politics and culture thanks to her outspoken support of the movie's feminist message. However, Gadot seemed happy to remain silent and concentrate on the quality of her performance rather than the issues surrounding the movie she chose to remain out of the public eye. Brought up her dislike of female remakes of M-driven movies to GDOT, saying that these changes give the impression that women are trying to change into their male counterparts rather than allowing them to be themselves. Her alternate suggestion to write completely original stories that capture the depth and complexity of women's lives, if we examine more closely, it's a fascinating viewpoint that emphasizes the need to support women's professions and goals from all backgrounds. A trend can be seen in the landscape of female of films. Many of these films are built on women taking on traits that are often associated with males, in other words, 
A strong woman is typically shown as someone who is focused on her job and has traits that are generally associated with men. The point made by GDOT is a call for.